thoughts on the upcoming season? Well, I mean, I think this is pretty pretty typical of our of our conference. Uh, I don't think there's been any difference since I've been here. There's going to be a lot of parity in the league. Uh, you know, every year a different a different team is is winning the conference, and and uh, you know, very rarely is it a team that everybody thinks it's going to be. You know, with Tennessee Tech winning it last year, Semo the year before. You know, it just seems like there's so much parity in our conference. So I think it's going to be a a year like it has been since. Uh, since, since I entered the league, and that's going to be just a, a dog fight every single Saturday, and, and it's going to come down to you know some things that are beyond your control, how that ball bounces and who's healthy and, and all those types of things. So it's, it's going to be exciting. I think it's good for the conference and good for college football to be as equal as we are across the board. Uh, not necessarily as good for my, my health or my stress level, but uh, I think it's going to be a pretty typical year. Is it good to be picked the preseason favorite? I don't know. You answer that. When, when's the last time the preseason favorite in this conference actually won it? Do you know the answer to that? I don't. It hadn't happened since hadn't happened since since I've been here. You know. So I mean, it's. I don't, I don't think it matters. You know. I mean, you, you picked first. You pick last. It matters who who shows up out there to play. And and uh, you know, it doesn't matter how you how you start. It matters how you finish. So you know, it really you know may give somebody else more motivation. I don't think it it does us. We were motivated from the start try to be the best we could we could be and you know we all want to try to win a championship but uh, I think there's things out there more important than that you know, I'm more interested in our guys having daily personal excellence in every area of their life than I am winning a championship how does last year's playoff appearance help your team get better this season well I think it you know I think it did help us from a, from a standpoint of uh, I think it's it's got our guys hungry you know, when you get close to something and don't get it, I think it's, you know, that, that carrot's out there still f- for our guys. Uh, and, you know, I think it could obviously work either way. But for our guys, what I've seen in the off season uh, is, is I've seen just a little bit more of a pop in their step, a little more gleam in their eye that, that they, uh, you know, got close to something and, and didn't achieve it. And I, I think they're a little, little hungry. Matt Denham had a breakout season for you last year and is on the Walter Payton watch list this year. Tell us about his impact on your team. Well, Matt's a, a very uh, unique individual from the standpoint of, uh, you know, he didn't even start for his first four ball games. You know, that's probably uh, an advocacy, advocacy plan for me to get fired because uh, he's, he's the best running back in, in the FCS and, and uh, got him sitting on the bench. But uh, never said boo, never said a word, never said, Coach, I need more touches, I need more time, I need more whatever. And that's just... Uh, you know, telling of what kind of person he is. He's just a great, humble, hard-working individual. So you want to talk about loving somebody to have success and the impact that had on our team is because he's that kind of person, man, our guys just climbed on board. You know, when Matt Adams carrying the ball just because of the kind of kid he is, man, they wanted the block for him. And uh, so they just kind of fed off each other. I think our O-line, our tight ends, our fullbacks kind of fed off what kind of person Matt is, wanting to block for him, and then him wanting to run hard for, for those guys. And it just kind of snowballed there last year, the last you know seven ball games. Tell us about your defense. The, you know, defensively, Coach Tony Hatmaker and our staff has, has done an unbelievable job. Uh, We've got you know guys. We've we got a senior in every segment on our defense, which is which is you know uh, really good feeling for me as a as a as the head coach to know that you've got some good leaders, senior leadership at every position. You know, in the secondary, we got we got Justin Bell, who's who's a kid that uh, could be very explosive at any any time with um, you know getting an interception or as a return guy. At linebacker, we got Kevin Hamlin, who's a guy that just seems to always be around the ball. Uh, and then a defensive line, you know, we've got Robert Knowles, a young man that's been playing a lot of football for us that's just a hard hat, come to work every day, you know, tough kid. So defensively, I like uh, uh, the fact that we've got a guy in each segment that's a senior that's doing a good job leading our team and uh, excited to see what they can do. What do you like most about your team this year? So far, I like our, our seniors. How, you know what a good job that they've that they've done leading because um, you know spring ball ends and you're on the road recruiting as a coach, and then in the summer you're you're you know you're not allowed NCAA rules to, to do things you know to be around them, and so it's it's pretty much you hand the keys over to the to your seniors after after that last spring practice and say here you go boys see you August first, 
And so just hearing, you know, what the kids are saying as far as how hard they're working and stuff, uh, you know, that's all, you know, leadership driven by the seniors. And so just excited the things that I've been hearing about those guys. So that's probably the thing I like the most is knowing that, uh, you know, the kids are doing a good job uh, when the coaches are, are away from it. What is your biggest challenge for your team this year? Uh, I, mean, I think it's the same every year to show up every, you know, because there's so much parity to show up every week. You know, you, you can't get too high, get too low. You know, it's always a challenge just to, like I said, you know, to, to be more concerned with being a winner than you are winning and be more concerned with, you know, daily personal excellence, to, to be a good student, to be a good teammate, uh, you know, to be a good a good football player, yes, but, but it's, it's, it's bigger than that. And so just that's that's our challenge. You know, it's always my challenge to them. I tell them all the time, guys, a championship's too small. You know, you know, be a, be a better man, be a good student, be a good be a good teammate. Uh, you know, let's let's not see what we can get out of this. Let's see what we become because of it. And uh, and those are the things that concern me. And I think it's a bigger challenge even than than the football aspect.